I am Shubhadu Chatterjee from CS Student School, Birati. And I am Nepal Bhattacharya, Class 8 from CS Student School, Birati. Today, I am going to teach you all different basic math tricks which we are going to use to do squares in various times. But you are going to tell me something. What is 43 squares? Can you say mentally? 43 squares? Uh, uh, it's 1 8 4 9. Very good. What is 40? 7 square. 47 square. Uh, 2 2 0 9. 53 square. 53 square. 2 8 6, uh, 0 9. 59 square. 59 square. 3 4 8 9. Fantastic. Will you show how did you do it? Of course. Today, I am going to teach you all how to find squares of numbers in 40 to 60. It's a very easy and interesting trick. So, let's take a number. Suppose 48. We are going to find its square. So, its square is um, 2304. So, how did I find it? So, we find how much is the number less or more than 50. Uh, here it is 48. So, 48 minus 50, which is equal to minus 2. So, at first, we have to remember a very number which is very significant for this uh, The number is Number is 25. So the number is 25. We have to subtract 2 from 25. So 25 minus 2 is equal to 23. And there we have the number here. So, so here we have got 23. How did we get it? 25 minus 2. So 23 is the first part of the number. And now what is the second part of it? Minus 2 We have to find it square So what is minus 2 square? It's 4 It's 2, 3, 0, 4 Let's take another example which is 44 We are going to find the square of 44 We have 44 square which is equal to 1 9 and 3 6 the square of 44 so, so at first we have to find whether the number is less or more than 50 so we will subtract 50 from 44 44 minus 50 is equal to as well as minus 6 so this number is very significant So there are 4 digits in this square. If we get 4 digits for every one of the squares from 4 to 60, I'm dividing this into two parts. So how did we get the number? If you have to remember a number, it's also very significant. Every time we use this trick, it's not going to change. So the number is 25. So we are going to subtract 6 from 25. 25 minus 6. First part of the number. And now the second part of the number, it will be minus 6 square. So another thing to remember about this trick for these range of numbers has to be a four number, it has to be a number which consists of four digits. So here 25 minus 6, we have 19. The first part of the number. The second part of the number minus 6 into minus 6 or minus 6 square 36. So here we have the four digits which are constituting this number 1936 or 44 square. Okay, so now we will take the example of the number 
which is more than 50. See the numbers 53. We are going to find the square of 53. And first, let me calculate it mentally. Uh, Okay, so now I'm going to show you all how am I finding this. It's a very easy thing. No, no, no. Uh, who is the next number? So, what is significant for this figure is uh, we have to subtract 53 to 50. Now, we've got the difference which is 3. As mentioned earlier in the previous example, a very significant number for this process is not going to change it all. It's 25. I am again separating this number into parts. So, at first, 25 is 3. As the number is greater than 50, that's why we are adding it this time. In the previous time, as the number was less, we subtract it. We are getting 28. And now, as we did R2, it's 3 squared, which is 9. 0, 9. So, the result is squared, squared, squared. Let me take another example. So, say 58 squared. which is equal to 3364 So now, how did I get this number? So, at first, we will subtract How are how we are going to do it? 25 plus 8, which is 3, 3, 3, 3 and 8 square goes to 64. Taking the square of 58, 3, 3, 6, 4. There are many other tricks to calculate the square, sums, difference products of different numbers, different ranges of numbers like today we did from 40 to 60 and those topics will be covered in the later parts of the videos. Bye bye, see you in the next video.